Right, so on this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the Ridge Monkey Vault C Smart. Now, before I do that, I'm just going to let you know I'm going to do the draw for the action camera and stickers and bits and pieces at the end of this video. So the people who are not interested in that don't have to sit and watch through the draw and that sort of stuff. If you are interested, watch till the end. I'll do it then. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to tell you about the Ridge Monkey Vault C Smart charger. Been using it around 18 months. I'll tell you a little bit more about that. This is my third one. Um, this is the 77,850 milliamp hour one, the bigger one. Um, on the front, as you can see, it's got a 12 volt cigarette charger. It has two five volt USB chargers and a single USC charger, which charges a bit quicker. It's in millimeters, it's 230 long by 130 wide and then 44 deep out of the case. Uh, it weighs around 14.95 grams and I think this was roughly around 200 pound when I bought it. Um, so yeah, let's uh, go into it a bit more. I'm just gonna tell you, because I did say I've had three of these and the reason for them, the first one I bought was when they first come out around three years ago, the old black ones, and um, used it for 11 months and it stopped working. Didn't do all the horror stories you heard of them blowing up and bulging. I, I didn't have that. Mine just stopped working. Sent it back to, or took it back to the shop I bought it from. They sent it to Ridge Monkey. Ridge Monkey tested it, said yes, it was faulty, offered me a new one. They had then brought out this new one, so I upgraded which to this one, paid a little bit extra. Um, and took that home, plugged it in to charge it, and it didn't even charge from new. So took that back to the shop again. They sent it back to Ridge Monkey. Ridge Monkey said, yes, it's faulty, offered me another one. So I bought another one. This is the third one. Um, haven't had no problems with this one. Been using it around 18 months. So, so far, so good. Right, you can have to bear with me now. I've got lights on me because it's a bit dark in here. So uh, here we go. Hope I don't show up too many of my wrinkles. So, what most of us want to do is we're not really too bothered about the spec. We want to know exactly how long it takes to charge and what exactly it can charge. So what I did was I charged it fully and I've used it over a number of weekends to, to uh, and just used it without re-topping it back up. So here we go. I've got an iPhone Pro 11 phone that charged that six times. I've got an iPhone 8, which is my work phone, that charged that three times. My bait boat, which is a ProCat Mark III, it charged four of those batteries. My iPad, it charged twice. My Bivy Light, which is the Ridge Monkey Bivy Light, it charged that once. My camera batteries, it charged that six times. So that gives you sort of an idea. There was one light left on, but I don't think it had got much left in it. Um, and it took from that, whether it was because it was completely near enough, completely empty or not, I don't know, but it took eight hours to charge. So if you are going away, don't leave it till last minute to charge. Like they say it can charge in two hours, but it, it took near just under eight hours to charge. So don't get caught out. One thing I've got to show you was the neoprene case it comes in like that. It just Velcros down the front. Everything's accessible from the front. In the winter, I just pull it out a little bit like that so you can get to everything and then uh, because of the uh, on off buttons on the top and in the summer I just take it completely out so it don't get too hot. So there's a couple of cables I mainly use both from Ridge Monkey they're up to up to and around £10 and um, this one is it's the one with the three different ends on it I think you can see there and um, it has a USB-C which plugs into my iPad and um, has a, a lightning connector which plugs into my iPhone and then there's a micro charger which plugs into a few of the bits and pieces I've got. On the end there is a USB-C which plugs into the power pack. This is a meter long um, which is great. The USB-C it charges a lot quicker. I've been told it's something like nine times quicker. Um, the other one I use is this one. It's exactly the same. got the same three ends on it. The only difference is where it plugs into the power pack it's a USB be um, and this is 1.5 meters long so I've got a 1 meter and a 1.5 so if I need to have my power pack somewhere out of the way but still want to charge or use something I can have it further away and um, because that's a USB-C and that's a USB and um, what you can do is you can use both of these in the power pack at the same time so what I'm going to show you now is what I keep the power pack in um, some people keep them in a, a pocket in their tackle bag. Some people chuck them in the bed, so, you know, all over the place. You can keep them in whatever you want. This is what I use. This is the Ridge Monkey case. It's nice and hard. Zip around here, carrying handle. Uh, I, th I think it's waterproof, but it's pretty sturdy anyway. Um, 
basically in here you have a velcro top which i keep my cables and that in and a few other bits and pieces and i'll show you what i mean there's a pair of earphones uh, wide earphones in this case a couple of uh, straps elastic bands there's a usb stick there's the uh, cigarette charger there's a cable for um, my earphones and a couple of pencils for working um, in here I've got my iPad it does it did come with a, a cover for the iPad but I use that in my uh, backpack anyway there's the iPad there's one of the charging cables I just show you there's the other charging cable I have my Ridge Monkey light and my uh, remote control I put this around it it's just a rod strap it just stops it pushing the button so much I've had to turn on before in transit uh, in here is my wireless earphones because don't let people to hear what's going on in the bivvy nice to keep nice and quiet and stealthy here's my head torch and then the power pack sits in here and as you can see it's all velcroed so you can move it around to whatever you want it also has here a bit where you can actually leave the power pack in if you want and put your charging leads out through that all in all a good case i can't remember what it costs i would imagine somewhere around 20 to 30 pound um but yeah good case been using that probably nearly the sort of two and a half years now that, I, that um, i've been two and a half three years that i've been using the power packs so that's the uh, Ridge Monkey Volt C Smart. That is the larger one of them. Um, ideally, if you're doing really long sessions or if you're going to places like France or uh, abroad somewhere, um, I have just bought the smaller one. They do do smaller ones as well. I have bought that. Um, it's the wireless charging one. So if your phone supports wireless charging, it's great because you can put your phone on top and charge it and it still leaves all your ports free. Um, I've bought the smaller uh, 26 950 milliamp. Um, I haven't got it with me at the minute. What I use that for um, is purely for when I'm out filming. So I've got uh, other commitments for some filming. Uh, that I've took on and um, it's just handy because it's smaller it fits in my film and backpack and get all my cameras and all my equipment and all this in one backpack and I can just go so I bought that for that um, but I'm going to test that over the next sort of four or five months and then because um, I've been using it for two months and then probably sort of summertime I'll do a bit of a review on that charge it up and see how many of that lasts to give you an idea Okay, so on the draw, which I uh, did a competition in the Fox Frontier Bivvy, um, was for the action camera and stickers and that. Um, I said I was going to do two prizes. Well, I'm going to do three because there was only three people that managed to get the correct answers. Loads and loads of people got it wrong. Uh, where they went wrong was on the morph one. Um, the amount of times he appeared... Uh, corresponded with the video the video was the 13th one I'd done so I made sure he appeared 13 times but a lot of people got that wrong and then on the PB one and um, if you'd have watched the video five minutes longer a lot of people put down um, the, 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 the 37 I had well the problem with that is I had another PB later on about five minutes later in the video the next day so um, if you'd have watched a bit more you'd have seen there was two PB so no end of people put down the 37 2 when actually the PB was 38 3 so uh, what I'm going to do is I've picked the names and one person got it right first time and the other two uh, got it right second time so I've, I've picked them so the first place goes to I'll just put the specs on so I can see what I'm saying to he got it right first time it goes to Trevor and his YouTube name is hey ho deco he got it right first attempt so he gets the uh, action camera uh, second place goes to Matthew and his YouTube name is farmer SFC um, his dedication, he even written down all the times that Morph appeared. So yeah, that did make me chuckle a bit. It's the sort of thing I'd probably do. But yeah, and also thanks for the advice on the uh, East Midlands lakes to go carp fishing. I shall probably hopefully get to check a couple of them out this year. So cheers for that. And third place goes to Richard Campbell. Again, dedication to watching it a few times to get it right. So if I haven't got in contact with you, get in contact with me and we'll sort out delivery for those uh, prizes to be delivered to you.